physical divisions of India. When you look around India, you see mountains, northern plains, plateau, desert and islands. These are the physical divisions of India. Mountains Mountains are very high areas with steep slopes. In the north, we have the Great Himalayan Range. This range has some of the highest mountains in the world. The peaks of most of the Himalayan mountains remain covered with snow throughout the year. The highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, is also a part of the Himalayas. Its height is 8,848 meters. Many rivers like the Ganga and Brahmaputra rise in the Himalayas. There are some mountains in the central and south India too. The Satpura Hills are in central India while the majestic Nilgiri Hills are in south India. Northern Plains Plains are flat or level land. In large parts of North India, you will see flat or level land. These are called the Northern Plains of India and lie south of the Himalayas. This area is also known as Gangetic Plain. Many rivers like the Ganga, Yamuna, Ravi, Satluj, etc. flow through the plains. These rivers make the plains fertile. Many types of crops are grown here. Narrow strips of plain land are also found along the eastern and western coasts of India. These plains meet at a place called Kanyakumari in the south. The rivers which flow through these plains are Narmada, Tapi, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. Plateau The southern part of India has uneven and flat surface. It is higher than the surrounding plains. The land which is flat and higher than its surrounding area is called a plateau. The southern plateaus cover the largest part of the country. The land in the southern plateau is rocky and hard. The area is less fertile than the plains. Desert A desert is a large area of land having very little water and very few plants growing in it. In the northwestern part of India is the Indian desert or the Thar Desert. The people here lead a tough life. It is very hot and dry in the daytime during summers. However, the nights are quite pleasant and cool during winter. It rains little in the desert areas. There are a few plants and trees which grow here. Peninsula Large water bodies on three sides surround the southern part of India. The land that is surrounded by water on three sides is called a peninsula. The Indian Peninsula has the Arabian Sea on the western side, the Bay of Bengal on the eastern side and the Indian Ocean on the southern side. Island the land that is surrounded by water on all sides is called an island. There are many islands in the water bodies around India. Some of these islands are a part of India. One group of islands is in the Bay of Bengal. These are called the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Lakshadweep Islands is another group of islands in the Arabian Sea. Our climate. The presence of mountains, rivers, plains and forests leads to different climates in different parts of India. In North India, the summers are very hot and dry and the winters are very cold. The mountains have cold climate almost throughout the year. In coastal places, 
It is neither very hot nor very cold.